lock him in a ro his own room after he eats a crap ton of cheese. Do not be within five miles oh, of the we'll house, though, because you will die. Yeah, yeah, we are both lactose intolerant, guys, so... <laughs> yeah, no, I remember that about Ooh, I just no. gave him a way to kill you. It, it looked natural, because he could slip it into something that... I know no more about really poisons like than it. he does. True. Oh, yeah, you yeah, told me about the one flower. Oh, yeah. Maya, you know that Queen's Anne's lace we were talking about? Yeah. He used it to make uh, some uh, food. It was, looked like a... Tempura. tempura is what he calls it. Because I don't know what that means. I, I don't know what it was called, uh, but I would have... Yeah, yeah, it's like... Tempura is fried, fried fish. Mm. Not fried fish. There's vegetables. It's like the type of deep frying stuff they use. It's yeah. like less fat it's... than American. <laughs> less fat than American? That's a lot less it fat. It is. It's like... Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there's it's, like deep fried McDonald's. vegetables. There's like tempura chicken, too. Uh huh. More often, you're gonna find tempura cooked, tempura cooked fish. Mm -hmm. So I can say that going through the recipes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they like they have like tempura on some of the sushi rolls, like mm -hmm. lightly deep fried. Mm -hmm. Tempura like, eel is the really Las good. Vegas. I've not had eel yet. Eel's yet. really good. I love you. Eel when DM good. takes me to Seattle really so I can to go, binge uh, all the sushi, sushi. places. Mm -hmm. I here, so. want it so bad. Well, Calvin likes okay, sushi as well, we'll so... May as well get CR-55 pulled together. up. Yes, you two can binge so together. Can go... oh, 100 CR-55 is ready to go and die for no real reason. <laughs> That's a life. <laughs> oh, there, there's still like another couple thousand him. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Oh yeah, You're not DM, losing guess anything. what? Um... I... I... I did a physical. Uh, I did a. I took a physical dice and did a practice roll like Cyrus already does, because mm -hmm. I was gonna make fun of him. And I rolled a 19, and I know I'm not gonna get it again. I'm gonna. I'm mad. Because I never rolled I that good ever. I need to find my dice real quick. I need to get my some dice for I Christmas. Should... Dice. Please. Dice, yeah. Minor. Can we go the next time we go get to the game store. Dice. dice. Yeah. Mm. I need one of your dice. dragon set dice. dice. <laughs> oh, you want some of my dragon dice? I'll tell you what. I'll go and find the second order, and I'll send you some. Please. Mine are cursed. Even Avery's cursed for me. Yeah. Oh, and Cyrus, don't worry. I'm taking your talking our talk into account for today's session. Wolf is not here. Calvin is. Calvin that will be co DMing. Mean... Yes, Calvin will this be co DMing is... to make sure I'm not too brutal on you guys. <laughs> Calvin, yes, make he's, him give he's us your a lot of experience, compass. please. Please, we are Calvin, desperately underleveled for us. the area. Help us, please. I'm so low on spell slots. You, you still have spell slots? Mm, that's impressive. <laughs> like three? Three. <laughs> See, Cyrus, Cyrus, I wasn't good that at mean. resource management. She still got three all low spell level. slots. Yeah, you're fine. You know, it's only a CR11 yeah. plus an army of, you know... Berserkers. At least my ring uh, gives me you know bonus what? damage to I, that. I'm gonna write something into the CR me. series now. I I have to give us a way out. It's time for them to have a self-destruct feature. <laughs> no, because it could be used uh, for you against us. <laughs> Do Each not. Each one has to get has to authorize their own of their own will. Well then, if what? But then the dragon won't let us self-destruct it. No, 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 See, Oh, see, you want to be used as a bomb series. against the dragon. There oh, we go. Oh, I see. You want to pull another... I already have one head up a dragon's ass. Why the hell not just pull another one? <laughs> An exploding anal bead. Okay. Did I just hear an exploding anal bead? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. D&D with no context. Yeah, Calvin doesn't play D&D, so, you no. Know. No, yeah, this is a bad experience I, to have. I promise I it's not usually like really this. An item called exploding, exploding needle. No. Yes. If we yes, can really. make it's one. It's a magical item. Up a monster's ass. Yes. Why? Because when, Has, when does he know about the goose like scenario? Like Wish I need to add Fenrir. It pops. Yeah, at, uh, at Tran as well. I will as well. <sighs> yeah, because we're gonna need a healer because I can't just tank and heal now because. My main character has been kidnapped. Stop being the princess. Have a bite. You need to stop being the princess, Cameron, that's why. <laughs> Fenrir's typing, oh boy. Oh yeah, tell him about the goose. Shit, shit, sorry. Oh, he might be on his date. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> He's dating. Look at him. When being we're trying social? to play D&D. God. Nerd. Cyrus, 
Cameron, can you believe him and DM having social life interaction? I mean, when when mm -hmm. we all got dropped back down to stage one, no. There is no such thing as social mean? life at stage one. Oh. Oh, yeah, the Michigan thing. <laughs> oh, it didn't just happen to Michigan. Mm -hmm. It happened over at Royce's first. Oh, well, you know, I zone out of life sometimes, so. Maya, Maya, it's okay. This is why you don't need news outlets. Mm. You have this group. Are no, you the so... best sources to be getting stuff from? Yes. Um. Yes, when it comes to Royce. <laughs> With everything going back to phase one, me and Calvin, it took us like an hour to find anywhere to eat. It was so annoying. Oh, man. Yeah, 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 and then you had to walk a mile for it. Um, ten, actually. They oh, walk ten oh, miles just for you. fun. They're psychopaths. No, Calvin walks ten miles for fun. I got dragged along because I was promised food. Well, <laughs> that's fair. Just, That'd be me. At the end of mile one, you're going, where is it? It's just nine more miles away. What? So, no, we got up there, <laughs> and we're, like, both kind of... I'm hungry at this point, so, because, you know me, I have to have a lot of protein. And all we had had that morning was, uh, I had two pastries and a cup of coffee. And, oh, Maya, you don't drink coffee, right? I can't remember. No, I do not. Damn. I do not like coffee. Cyrus, I you, you, seem, occasionally, you but... seem like a coffee kind of guy, am I right? Uh, my coffee isn't a green bottle called Mountain Dew. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Jacob, I drink it coffee Royce, if you want to share. Yes, I well, drink coffee. So, there's this place in Seattle, two places. First, the first Starbucks ever is here, but the um, place called The Roasters, uh, it's, and they have whiskey barreled um, coffee. So, the, co the cold brew coffee um, tastes like whiskey with no drink alcohol in it. It is so good. Like, they, and they even give you the single ice cube to, ma to add the flavor to it, to give you a whiskey rock. Oh, it's so good. Also, Jacob, question for you uh, that I have all for you. I'm going to ask you after stream. Or I'll just oh PM gosh. it to you. Oh, boy. I heard some. PM, is it your OnlyFans link? Finally? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jacob, speak louder, one, two. You need to tell Calvin about the goose. <gasps> Jesus. You just you screamed, but you're still quiet. You sound like you're very here. far away from him. He isn't. He he's, is. He's with yes, CM. He is. No, he's uh, currently he coming back Discord. in the room. Oh. Well, he doesn't have Discord, but he's physically with DM. Oh, fuck. His, his poor, poor soul. Uh, yes. Calvin is now sitting, well, standing next to me while he is drinking his Arizona tea. After he just ah, uh, he has good taste. Yeah, he he loves Arizona tea. Meanwhile, I was sitting there like dying to find a coffee shop. Hey, you <laughs> had coffee before me. That's true. I had like four cups of coffee today. Wait, wait, hang on, wait. I hang on. I yes. thought I forgot something. What was oh, it? Oh, also, Cyrus, I added uh the all the parts for um, was it um, the silver dragon? I just added it to Maya's oh, inventory. Oh, oh so it's all in mine? Okay. Yeah, I was just like, I'm not generalized. sure I marked this, but okay. Yeah, mysterious dragon clump. Also, Karen, Karen, Karen. I was talking to, uh, to Jacob and catching up about the video no, call I was stop. in, how I'm always faceless. And I asked him to identify people's faces because he didn't know. And he knew Royce. He didn't know Cal uh, He didn't know uh, Cheston. He thought Tren was you, Cameron. He thought oh Tren's my... face was yours. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> No, Tren's better looking. I've been for the Tren. <laughs> and then he said Tren instead of an egg like I expected. He said Tren looked like a fish, <laughs> which I didn't get. Well, he's at least nicer than I am. Because I, when I first saw Tren, I was like, he looks like the doctor that killed Michael Jackson. Oh, God. Yes, he Christ. did say that. <laughs> <laughs> like the doctor killed Michael Jackson. Yes. Has everyone bullied Tren when seeing his face besides me? Yeah. <laughs> well, we also Trenton. bullied his ex-girlfriend. Also, wait. Who did you think Calvin was, uh, Jacob? Because I told you he, his face wasn't there, but I thought... Was it Chaston um, or Wolf? <laughs> it's definitely not Wolf. Because definitely not Wolf. No, well, no, it, I thought it was Wolf just because the, the picture that... Had him. It just looks weird. 
Nothing like Wolf. Nothing like Wolf. I, I yeah. want to make a point that Wolf looks like he's been chugging <laughs> muscle stimulators for a yeah. long time. <laughs> Cameron's and I really think Calvin's one of the few of us who have Sorry. glasses. Oh my gosh, I misread Come Hither as Come, come Hitler. Oh god. <laughs> no, they can hear you. There goes my TOS. This isn't Cards Against Humanity. You missed out on that. But you should join us, Jacob, when you can join oh, us as well. Maya, I, I, I did ask him for you at the, at the exact time yes? you asked me to ask him. Oh my god, Maya. Yes. yes. The most weirdest you... time to ask. Yeah, yep. <laughs> you said, oh yeah, remember to ask. I'm like, okay. Yep. I'm just. I thought I was joking, Calvin. I'm sorry. He's a psychopath. He should have known. He just stopped and went. So Maya told me to ask you when I'm right here. And I was like. What? What? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. you're, you're welcome, Maya. Maya, what did you tell Royce to ask? <laughs> I, I forgot what the exact conversation was, but I think. Dan made a joke about, yeah, I'm gonna go get later something. I'm like, oh, make sure you st you ask Kelvin. He's like, yeah, I'll just ask during the middle of it. I'm like, yeah, you go do that. <laughs> and then the call ended. Oh my god. <laughs> he listened. <laughs> I did ask. I as hold power. As requested. <laughs> no, god. Well, consent is the biggest well, turn on sometimes. Did, did you agree? Did you hold? Did he held you hostage, Kelvin? I mean... He can lift me. There's not much I can do to get away. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. Good. I'll make sure to next next time we play. I make sure that you will be there. I'll make a mental note. Oops. <laughs> yep. It's not hard to uh, get. I mean, to be fair, I can lift. Yes, fucking die, you son of a bitch. Sorry. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> well, Jacob. Jacob. Wow. Okay. Jacob. Oh, Jacob. That, that's very violent, Jacob. Oh, I'm man. Right. I'm aware. Jacob, you should join us next time as well. Jacob, well, Jacob. Get... Why is there another fucking enemy? Go away. DM, can you because go hold Souls. Jacob hostage too? Can I, I just don't... like stick you on him? <laughs> I don't think Calvin would be happy about that. No, Calvin, not like that. Just like a, he physically like lift him. Make... Jacob doesn't weigh a lot. Oh, I know I can he's lift Cal Jacob, but he's tall and lanky. He might be able to escape. That's... But that means uh, you Calvin, can like. Would you like a bunk no. mate in the prison closet? You have like oh, the they gravity advantage because you're lower to the ground. Like, the ones they have at car dealerships. No, he's. <laughs> oh God, no. He is a uh, tall, skinny, uh, now blue-haired. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's a picture cool of him, blue actually. hair. Yeah, that. he's a cool blue haired dude. He's he's done it. He's become cool guys. <sighs> what do I <laughs> That's Jacob. do while we're waiting to Jacob, start? Jacob, you're not responding. Say something. Say yeah, something. I'm giving I'm... up on you. What? No, I'm not oh dating someone new. Oh, really? Okay, so maybe I misheard them. See, I thought yeah, that I the know. guys were saying that you had uh, were going on a date at some point. I can't remember when we were talking about it, and that uh, you were dating someone different. When? That's why. No, that's why I didn't want to message you, like say it out loud, because I was like, oh, if this is the case, you know, no worries, Jacob. Then I was just curious. You know, it's my job to stick my nose in everything. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Mhm. Mm Occasionally, we don't like it. This has already become, Only like, one of our most chaotic sessions. Yeah, don't worry. I've got plans for today. Oh, great. But, listen, to hear that. we need to have the fun while we everybody, can before a session everybody, starts. Everybody, I'm gonna say this. I'll have backup characters for each and every one of you if we all die. Listen, no, ready and waiting. if we all die, I want the all bard run. We're all bards. Oh, no. Screw that, I'm being a rogue. I have my well, next all character rogue ready. Run. All Listen, rogue run, all right? I already talked over Cyrus. I don't want to kill you if I don't have to, because then I'm going to rewrite a new storyline. <laughs> That's a pain in my ass. <laughs> well, you know we're squishy. At least I'm squishy. Well, then stop dying. I'm yet to be a buff person. Get well, better. Well, I'm You're sorry. the one who's <laughs> attempting to murder her. <laughs> 
character, at least. It's my job as the DM to attempt to kill you. It's no. your job not to be idiots. <laughs> it's your Listen, job to that's give us a, a lot to ask. And, and tell a story I, with us. I <laughs> have not, three and a half gross. brain cells on average, and today it's two and a half, if I'm generous. I'm assuming you said I brain am. cells and not what else I yes. heard. Okay. Well, what else did you hear? I heard breast this cells, and I was like, only two. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. <laughs> um, what? I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm not going to. No. Bad. No. <laughs> yes. Bad. Go have, ahead, have you, Cameron. Have you Cameron, pulled please. a captain and been drinking alcoholic coffee again, DM? No. My coffee, you... <laughs> it's whiskey aged, but it is in, in, in a barrel, but not with whiskey in it. Mm. Trust me. Otherwise, the walk home would have been a lot easier. Calvin, can you verify that he's sober? Can you verify that I'm sober? See, he's sober. It just tasted like whiskey and coffee, but without the alcohol. Mm, okay, okay. Plus, I'm out we of alcohol. Steve. We yeah. have Kelvin here to verify stuff, guys. Hi, Scott. He's Who's our Scott? insider. Wait, wait. Not... Does this mean we can sit Kelvin on him if he's bullying us? No. <laughs> well, Kelvin, Kelvin really... can take him. <laughs> Kelvin really can't <laughs> take me, to be honest. I'm a I've, lot scared. I've seen, I saw on video DM lift Kelvin just mm -hmm. casually, so <laughs> I... I no offense. I lifted Calvin, him. Yes I, I lift faith. yesterday. I actually lifted him off my chair. Mm -hmm. Like just, I put my arm underneath God his, like damn, doing a bride carry, and just stood up. Korok. <laughs> yep. Hi, Scott. Who's Scott? I don't know. Oh, but that's also hi. <laughs> Who's Scott? I, it's someone in the dis or in the um uh, uh stream Twitch chat. chat. Thank you. I'm oh, not Scott. there's people in Twitch chat. I am okay. Dungeon Master, or the Silent Twitch. That's what they call me. Uh, who's your friend? This this is a good friend. Friend. I, I could say something now, but I feel it'd be rude. Go ahead, say something, Cameron. Please. By all something. means. You've already called me fat once, so yeah, please dig that grave. <laughs> oh, no. There, so I have you, Jacob, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Wow, I Jacob, I want to hear fat. you talk. Jacob did call me fat. He called me Wario. No, I called you Wario. I didn't call you Wario's fat. Wario's a fat But Mario he called brother. himself Luigi, which I don't know if is it's much better. Hmm? Is he a brother to Mario and Luigi? Have you never you not know who Wario is? I know who Wario he... is. I didn't know that they were all siblings. No, uh, Wario is a sibling. Is He's cousin. <laughs> Uh, I no, I actually, I think I was talking about this he, with my other D&D &D group. Apparently, Wario and Lu Wal Waluigi, Waluigi aren't related. And... No. Yeah, nope, they are Wario not. and Waluigi. Some people speculate they're like gay together Have you seen people simp or something. Waluigi? Yes, so everyone simps for Waluigi. It's because he's so tall. Oh, God. Is that well, trend? This is not trend. Did you know that trend. Waluigi no. is actually the healthiest person <laughs> in the Mushroom Kingdom? Is Trent online? Trent is online, but he's not getting on. Okay. Well, we're down a healer, die, it's his fault. and the other healer is missing. Cyrus, oh, if boy. you want to run the healer, you're actually doing a pretty good job last time. Okay, no problem. Then I'll do that. Calvin, because I know join how to play D and D. They want you to join D and D. I don't know how to play. No, I did promise to teach. I'll do what I did for Tron. Just do a couple of sessions. Do one of those D and D duets or wherever, where it's one player and one dungeon master. Yep, basically what I had to do for Tre uh, when he first started playing D&D. &D. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, oh, yeah, no, Jacob start. has left. I think... Fenrir is oh, gone. I think that, uh, you know, as far as it goes, you and most of the people who t uh, in the group probably weigh about the same. Really? I mean, other than Wolf, I think that Wolf's the only one that's actually... Time heavier. to compare weight, guys. All no, right, I'm, let's go down I mean, the like, line. Cyrus and Wolf are probably the only two in the group that I can't outright lift easily. Because oh. Cyrus weighs as much as I do, and Wolf weighs more. Um, Are you all the same height? I weigh about no, 200, so... Oh, I can still lift you, Cameron. Even at 200 pounds, I, I can easily lift you. I don't know my exact weight. I'm 200 pounds is not heavy. Though. I used to wrestle guys bigger than that. <laughs> the only reason I struggle when I'm picking up is because I've got bad knees. But I can lift you, no problem. <laughs> ha ha, boomer. You know, RTC, you have to do that one mile run with the 100 pound backpack. Mm -hmm. We had girls who weighed under 100 pounds. <laughs> See, we didn't do it with 100-pound backpacks. We did it with a uh, fireman's carry with our uh, someone close to our weight. Oh. Mm -hmm. Trent's typing. Oh, is he? I don't see him. Uh, he was. Okay. It, he, it just went away. Yeah, do you want to at both of them? And then I'll give him an extra few minutes. Okay, sure. Thank you, Maya. I appreciate it. <laughs> this gives me time to yeah. hunt down some more Koroks, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I wasn't originally yeah. planning on doing D&D today, but um, because of the fact that it seemed like everyone was kind of tired and needed a weekend of a break, but... Uh-huh. What's up? I mean, I didn't make it last session, so I'm kind of rearing to go, but if everyone else is tired, I'm Not fine. Not to bother go. mentioning, I, I didn't get to do my session yesterday, because my game is falling apart, it seems. Yeah, I feel that. Wolf Sadness. had to do the same thing. He had mm-hmm. to. That's why he brought Red or Chastain and Miguel. He'll be here in a minute. Oh, okay. and Fenrir is back. Hello. Was just adding you guys. Myself. Welcome back, Jacob. Okay, nice. where the fuck's a Korok right now? I need to. Do you take have your, your whip sweet, ready? Sweet I need you to method guy. act. Every time you whip in D and D, you need to whip something in real life. Uh, I'll get the Watch him one. whip. One sec. Yeah. No, watch you, him. You need to show Calvin the sound. Wait. Or. Yeah, that made sense. That was grammar. This was a bad idea. That was a grammar. <laughs> I was tired. Okay, I need to go there. Why did I come here? <laughs> me. Do you need me to order you a lift? Oh. It's three. Alrighty, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear yes. you. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Give me a minute, guys, because I'm going to get Calvin set up because he's got to head back, so... You Bye guys get Calvin. a minute of me not preparing uh, me not you. here. Uh, they say nice to meet you and good. Have a good evening. He says you guys too. I will be back in a minute, so you guys are gonna have some time to um, work on your own without to me there. Hide. All right, guys, time to plot the overthrow of Royce. We need to cower in fear. We even attempt that. Fenrir, did us. you whip the whip yet? Yeah, I've been whipping it. Uh, I couldn't hear over DM. I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh God, I have messed up. How how are we feeling today about today's session? Well, I have a spare character ready, like I told you and Cyrus already. So if yeah. I get bored of using abusing the CR series, we will have. You just have to give rogue. it like a fun quirk for each robot, just something to spice no, it no, up. No, no, they're they're carbon copies, my. They were built on an assembly line. That was. Before, it, like, hundreds of years went by. Yes, but the thing is, their programming, each one has been through different situations, slightly, yes, but they all were pretty much subjugated to abuse by, but their programming will not allow them to hate also, their creators. Cameron, I did rewatch the session to see. It was uh, Charlton or whoever that the dragon ha- raged when you said. So I don't know who that yeah. is, but. It's the one who created it. That's all I know. Well, I, I still don't know anything about it. So, hello, Tren. Mm-hmm. You missed Calvin. Him and DM just left. I think Calvin's leaving. You were late to the party. Oh, eating donut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What Tren kind of donut? donut? What kind? Yeah, what kind of yeah, donut? Yeah, what flavor? You have mm-hmm. to appease us, the, the donut gods. Mm-hmm. If you don't share what kind of donut it is, we will come to your house and take the donuts. We'll send Jacob with his whip. He's the closest. <laughs> Jacob, go whip him. Uh, I usually get well, paid for it. <laughs> uh, well, Trent's a minor, so after he's not, you know, you can go for him, Jacob. Okay, let's see. I gotta get the hardy lizard from Beetle here because. Yeah, damn it. They're useful. It was a strawberry donut. It was a strawberry like, donut? Strawberry yeah. flavored or like strawberry filled? Both. Yeah, there's a difference. Both. I've never had either, so. Both. If it's both, then that's amazing. Wait, what if it was just a strawberry? Like, not even a donut, it was just a giant strawberry. <laughs> strawberry Those exist. The in the middle. That it, that the Those room. exist. <laughs> Those exist, believe it or not. Why? Because strawberries are actually hollow. Huh? Huh? If you pull off the no. top of a strawberry, you can sometimes find some that are hollow. So you can technically well, get well, a big strawberry. Well, that's like a defect. That's not the normal. <laughs> hey, hey, I like, call Like, peppers are kind of hollow, because peppers, you know, they have, like, the seed core, and that's it. Strawberries are not... Strawberries technically have their seeds on the outside. 
I'm yeah. Punch I... someone if this conversation continues, I swear to God. Come here, Jacob. Come find Bring me. Bring it on. <laughs> you don't know our addresses. Stupidest conversation. I know where I know Jacob's now, though, though, guys. God. I'll dox you on the internet. Well, okay, hold on. I'm gonna speed. freeze this Yiga guy here just because I feel like bullying him. Depression, Cyrus. The answer is depression. <laughs> Ben rears. Just... I have yeeted a Yiga. <laughs> I'm so glad you're quiet because your screaming just sounds like you're in a distance. Just you're somewhere off in the like... far distance yelling. Yeah. <laughs> if you've yeah, ever ketchup heard is a smoothie. Technically, it's a fruit smoothie. Yeah, it's yeah. all yeah. just filled with corn syrup. Mhm. Mm so I'm it's a fruit a smoothie fish. with just with vegetable syrup. <laughs> So, every time you technically use ketchup on your fries, you're putting corn syrup on your fries. Just to mm -hmm. shut up, I'm going to bash my head into a wall. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Listen, if you do that, you'll be down on my intellectual level, so go ahead. Uh, <laughs> and everyone is rich. Yes, hang on, wait, I had, I have, I thought I had something. Should be funny. Big joke, very funny, ha ha ha. Cameron, here you go. What is this? AI generated mean? quote just for you. AI generated, completely randomized. It's never oh, truly Cyrus. random. I got yeah. to see what you look like for the first time yesterday. Oh, yeah, from the screenshots nice. of the call when you DM and pull up all the cameras on, and then my dear profile picture's just there. I simply refuse to believe that's you. Yeah, he said he like had an existential crisis. <laughs> Not really, like, but you know. I didn't say it, but I fucking did. <laughs> oh, Trend has his camera on. Oh god. Oh god. It's not even loading what? for me. What are you doing, Trent? Are you gonna do that thing in the dark where I couldn't even see your face because my brightness oh, was low? Just, <laughs> you know what? If I, Trent does that, I will go me. through. It, it's I not can't because it me. won't load for me. I know it. I'm it not gonna load. attempt to look, but you Fenrir, know what? If someone, gets me a good picture of Trent, if someone gets me a good picture of Trent, I will go through hey, and make him in Skyrim. Your loading circles are both synced up on my screen. It's really cool. It does that. Phones do that to save memory, Maya. Well, you didn't have to ruin it for me. Maya. Behold. Oh, it's not a good screen. They're just dots. They're just eyes. Nice shirt. I can't see you guys. I'm leaving. I'm going to go burn down Korok Forest at this point. There, there's nothing better to do. I'm hunting down I can Korok, see both so of you now. Forest, if I go burn down the forest, they'll have to show up. I was going to say you're Jacksepticeye now, Fenrir, but your hair's not green. But you can't do an Irish accent. Place. I forgot I had this bow. I can't waste this bow. Oh, yeah. I wait. Trent, do you know what Fenrir said when he first saw your face? Do you want to know? Do you want to know, Trent? First, he thought you were Cameron. First, he thought you were Cameron. You know what's even funnier? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he guessed because I told him to guess who it was. He said, is that Cameron? Second, I thought he was going to say, like, you looked like an egg, because that's what everyone does. He said you looked like a fish. <laughs> like a fish. He's still nicer than me when I first saw Trent. He said, let me find the exact quote in the PM. He thought Chastin He's... was wolf. Stop. Just stop. No. No, I'm sorry. He, he, he looked a squished fish. A squished fish, specifically. Not even a full fish. His face looks <laughs> Fenrir, Fenrir, you shouldn't have given me the blackmail. <laughs> I'm exposing you. <laughs> oh God, oh. why is there? Why can't I, I? The light is I so my... bright behind you, Tren. <laughs> what is that plant? What type of plant is that? <laughs> I think it's a succulent. Yes, because it, it, it does look like one, but it's hard to see. 
thankful for you. What does that mean? What is that cheesy crap? Che cheesy crap? The what? What's going on? His camera lags. <laughs> it's so funny. Their cameras are on. Who's? <laughs> Fenrir and, and Trent. Trent's is terrifying. <laughs> yeah, and the, he always has an up close angle. It's never like I see. I saw a picture of him in a suit where he can look nice. He he never has a flattering angle when doing video calls. Mm -hmm. I'm curious. If... Okay. Oh wait, are you gonna show your whip on camera? I mean, I can if. You... <laughs> um. Okay. All right. I'm curious if the mic in my phone is gonna sound better than the mic. Oh, you just cut out there, so. Mm-hmm. Trend stop. I've no, all, all I see is Captain, so. No, oh, well, Trend's, yeah. Like, Trend's wiggling his eyebrows and uh, being weird. But I can't, I can barely see his forehead because the light behind him is so blindingly bright, it, like, hides half his face. <laughs> So yeah, it's glinting off your forehead, Tren. It's glistening. Say something, Fenrir. I mean, I hear you guys Tren, goddammit, that's my joke. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say it. Alright. I mean, I can hear you kind of well either way. You're a bit more echoey with this this mic, though. Hmm. You look disappointed. I am here. I am listening. Gonna be muted because I'm walking down to the laundry room. Just a unless little. I am what's muted. on your What's on your wrist? What's on your wrist? Show it. Show it. Bracelet. Cool. Who's that behind you? That's a good question. <laughs> the door. <laughs> I almost got you. Nah. Nah. I'm alone. Unless you, unless you aren't, I've revealed your address to thirty random people. They will find you shortly. Two of them are murderers. Oh God! He just pulled a sword. <laughs> I need to be taught the art of the blade. <laughs> His camera fell. <laughs> All right. That was perfect comedic. Guys, foot reveal. Foot reveal on stream. Okay. We'll be charging. $30 per foot pick to make oh. income for the D&D group. There you go. Jacob, we thank you for offering yourself up as tribute for this. There's the foot pick that everyone wanted. Oh, and the whip. You can charge an extra $20 to have the whip or sword within frame of the foot pick. Uh, he can wield them with his feet like a monkey. If, if you so request. What is Tren doing? I look over and he's having a seizure. Tren is just chaos. And... Oh man. Oh, All he's right. he's doing a monkey thing. Stop jiggling your tits. Gonna... Um. Okay. What so, is today? Well, I'm ready for game Cyrus, game. Do, are you still there? Or have you left us? Yeah, we're ready to start. <laughs> I thought he just walked away. All right, are we ready to start, everyone? Yes. I'm ready. I'm are, you, are you guys gonna keep your videos on? Yeah. <laughs> sure. All right. You now you have to do method acting as well as voice acting. Oh, if, if we don't see the emotion on your face. That's easy. I do that shit already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, last Stay time we left off. D and D. Cameron turned on his mic. Um, no. <laughs> Last time we left off, the party had gotten railroaded into a dragon's nest. After the ex uh, finding in the horde their own uh, individual items, they would find a local warforge known of the CR uh, registration 54. Having dug him up and reactivated him, he would continue his programming and have the rest of the party continue to follow deeper into the dragon's horde. Upon finding the, 
final stop of the dragon's horde, the party would realize why two silver adult dragons stayed above ground. And while they did this, the berserkers would awaken. At this same time, CR-54 would recall its programming to realize what was happening in the never-ending battle against the ancient Nord berserkers and Charlatan's dragon. With the reactivation of the dragon and the anger of the Helio comet from Cyrus, who would mention this, or would be seen as this by this dragon, the party would choose to escape as CR-54 sacrificed his life and his dignity to stop said dragon, while the party made a run for it. Upon exiting the tunnel, the, uh, Cyrus would activate the ship, having the party board it and take off. You would see the ground rumble and erupt as the Zerkas would try begin to climb out of the hole, and as they did so, looking back, each of you with your passive perception would see that the creatures would almost deactivate as if a light had turned off. They would fall back into the hole as soon as they came to the surface. Charlatan's dragon, however, would continue chasing after the party. Upon the ship's activation and looking around, Fenrir himself would notice something. Another shiny bottle of a Warforge, this one with the title on it, CR-55. Unactivated, but staying, staying where it was on the ship. The party would have no idea where this bot came from. And that is where we pick up with Tikva having regained her sanity, the party fully on the ship, minus Malthor who is still missing. And we begin as the dragon is continuing to chase. The cloud, the sky is dark with deep blackened clouds. Necrotic energy can be felt all around. And the howling of berserkers still can be heard in the distance. Puppy. Uh, Cyrus would yell at Tikva to help take over the ship mm -hmm. and go as fast as possible. And then he's going to step away from the controls, mm -hmm. grab the trident, and attempt to glean if there are any memories within it in relation to this dragon. Give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Do good. We have advantage on wisdom. That so works. 19. Okay. Wise man. Uh, there we go. And that is all you get, Cyrus, as the vision kind of dissipates. Yeah. Why? Why? As Fenrir puts on his chainmail bikini. Yeah, chainmail, <laughs> chainmail bra, that was what I was gonna say. Very, uh, Medieval cross-dressing. Mm -hmm. Taking a second for that. Um, Cyrus will go to the back of the ship. Mm -hmm. And see where the dragon is. Mm -hmm. uh, one second. I have to see if I have... I do. Um, just double-checking something. Thought presentation could make your no, that's just cleaning. It's thaumaturgy that makes it loud. Mm -hmm. Um, he will wait until the dragon gets close and then repeat the words that he saw in the memory. Okay, as the ship starts, uh, or as the dragon slowly begins catching up, Tikva with uh, pushing the ship to go f ever faster, Fenrir uh, watching with bated anticipation for the dragon to get within whipping range. As the dragon catches up within about 60 feet, as Cyrus yells out, Hope! The dragon halts 
And at the same time, CR-55 activates. Standing up is a war, this large Warforge. The dragon seems to just pause in the air, and the Warforge comes alive. Um, seeing that, Cyrus will say, just yell out, follow. As you ch just state this, the dragon begins to follow you. CR-55, you have gained full sentience. I'm going to immediately realize I'm on a ship and go try to take over the helm, because it feels like it's being piloted inexperiencedly. You also, CR-55, remember something from your uh, when you were first activated. Yes? A metallic CR-2 in the shape of a dragon who went rogue. Our unit that went rogue. Mm -hmm. uh, metal face to metal palm as I rush to as I find the helm and take it over from whoever the helm's if, driving because this feels uh, bad. If Tikva sees uh, Warforge running at her and is not sure whether or not it's been properly activated, she will hold her ground and resist. It looks identical to the previous CR. Okay. As it approaches, Tikva will yell, "Halt! Are you friend or foe?" Move away from the helm, citizen. I I am licensed to pilot all forms of Are water you friend and air or vehicles. Foe? If I was foe, would I be trying to take away and make sure you didn't crash into things? I didn't realize they made you assholes with sass, but all right. And she'll step away and go to find Cyrus. I take over the helm. All right. As the ship continues, the dragon continues to follow. Kips and Fenrir. What would you like to do during this situation? Let's start with Fenrir. Um, if I remember right, Fenrir is still sloth up. Mm -hmm. um, so he's going to head to Kips uh, in search of medical attention. Okay. Fucking you see Kips working away. Ta uh, tearing apart a vampiric looking body testing things on rats the usual Tre er, Kips I need to fix your name god damn it is there anything you want to be doing uh well I already told Lemons. you that... well that person isn't here I mean, at I the already time told you. well no besides that uh I already told you that I Different ratios. Yes. I believe all I needed at. Mhm. Mm all you needed yeah, was. I mean, if I can't, yeah. If, if I can't do, I can't get. Kips, you're cutting out, mate. Come on now. You might want to turn off your camera. Live. There we go. Nope. Did he leave? Oh, no. Okay. He blinked in and out. Mm hmm. Motherfucker. <laughs> Alright. As Kips, um, did you want to. He uh, as you see Fenrir walking up to you, looking badly injured, uh, overall, and. Annoyed at the situation, I assume. Not ha getting a chance to kill another dragon. A little annoyed, yeah. He looks damaged to all hell, Kips. He looks as if he's been uh, beaten, bloodied. Stabbed repeatedly. Yeah, by an. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, lovely, says Kips. Nice to see you. Oh, are you talking for Kips? Yes, because Kips is not in the voice chat. Or, yeah, Kips is typing right now. Okay. Um, God, I didn't have a practice voice, so this is probably going to sound like shit. Woo! Um, I need help, please. Um... <laughs> <laughs> As Fenrir's pocket suddenly vibrates. Ah, uh, CR55. Fenrir, you. 
You Can see you on the. F- yeah, we see. We hear you. You see on your phone yeah. as you pull out your electronic device oh. a picture of Malthor ro- roped up and with a gnome standing over him. I'm not going to question how Fender has a phone. I'll just be happy that he has one. Um, (laughs) Crystal ball. You pull out your tiny crystal ball that you've been carrying around. And it suddenly has a picture of Malthor being rope bunnied by a a We don't judge what Malthor's into. We're an accepting group here. I'll cast a second level (laughs) cure. Make sure you swipe right. Yes. He, he, He looks very uncomfortable. Um, alright, Kips, go ahead and roll to Cure Wounds. Mm. While he does that. Tikva, you just kind of see that Cyrus is commanding this dragon. As it is now following you. Uh Uh-huh. And it seems to be passive as its eyes have gone from a bright red to a calm blue. Uh, also, Fenrir, you heal for 13 points. Um, Do Am I standing beside Cyrus yet? Yes, yeah, so at this point you've made it to the back of the Thank ship you. and see this dragon, this robotic-looking dragon, Warforge-like dragon, um, heading in your guys' direction very passively. Alright. Uh, uh, I think Tegva will sort of look at the dragon... Make sure everything is calm there, and then sort of side eye uh, Cyrus and be like, "How did you know the command were to turn it passive?" Let's just say right now it came to me. Uh, I can explain more when we've got the situation under hand. Right. Is it going to stay passive? I believe so. All right, well, and Tikva's going to sort of, like, lean over to look. Is the horde still running after us? (laughs) Uh, It, as you are heading off in the distance, um, you can see that none of the berserkers are able to climb out of the hole, and as soon as they do, they seem Mm -hmm. to fall straight back in, almost as if they deactivate. All right, sweet. And you said last session, when I re-listened, that we saw humanoids in the distance? Mm Mm-hmm. Are they still there? Yeah, you can still see off in the distance, uh, assuming that you guys are ordering CR-55 to continue heading towards Stonefort. Yeah, can I tell if these humanoids seem undead? Give me a perception check. Alright. Stonefort's where we popped in, right? Uh, That's where you're heading currently. Right, but that was also where we popped in when we teleported here? Uh, no? No, no, that was little something. Or oh, no, okay. you're right. No, sorry, yeah. you're heading towards Little. Um, you mm-hmm. left Stone Fort. Sorry, thank you. Yeah, he- heading towards my hometown of. Yep. I assume I fail. So you Number see, seven. you do see what looks to be humanoids off in the distance. It's a little too far at this point to make out much in detail. Um. Seeing that, do I see Kips and uh, Fenrir to the side? Mm-hmm. As uh, Kips gonna... is currently oh. casting magic and wrapping up Fenrir's wounds. Yeah, I'm gonna head over and first look at Fenrir and be like, humanoids in the distance. Ensure they're not undead if you can tell. <sighs> the last thing we need is more enemies. So then she's gonna turn to Kips and be like, if you have healing to spare, I could use it. Um, Fenrir is going to go ahead and try to see if he can discern uh, what type of humanoid Uh, go ahead and roll perception. (laughs) God damn it. Apologies. I was distracted. I got a message, so. Of course, my lady tips the fedora. Oh, gods. No, Trent. No fedoras. As long as he heals well. I got a 14. Off in the distance, they look pale. Are they just Caucasian, or are they vampires? Well, I was just about to say, like, hail as in they haven't seen sun in a couple days. They're pretty, the I mean, day? they're almost, they're porcelain white. Mm. I guess vampires and vampires. 
Uh, all right. Uh, Trent, if you're gonna do fourth level prayer of healing, go ahead and roll the thing and let me know and let everyone know who gets what. Uh, 18. All right, the ship continues on its uh, in its direction, no issues. Fender, how's it looking? I can't tell for certain, but ah, oh god, hi, rogue fucking hamburger helper. <laughs> Would my danger oh. sense? Would I be able to see these things? Would my danger sense be going off? You feel completely calm, uh, CR fifty-five. I can't tell for certain if they are living or not. They are quite pale. They might be vampires. I'm not not too sure though. Right. Let's assume they are vampires and prepare ourselves. For potential conflict, Kips, do you have anything left to ward off undead creatures? You and Malthor are the only ones who can really do that stuff, and I haven't seen Malthor for a while. And as she says that, she's going to sort of glance over the ship and, like, squint her eyes a bit. I just kind of casually hold up this mysterious crystal ball. And as, you, as Fenrir does that... You all see Malthor being tangled up with a ball in his mouth, wrapped up in rope, and a, a gnome standing in front of him. Malthor looks very angry. Where and did uncomfortable. You get that? It I have the foggiest fucking idea. All right. Do you recognize who that is in front of him? Do I recognize who that is in front of him? Yeah. Uh, no, you do not, actually. The only person who would recognize would be Cyrus. <laughs> oh, all right, then. Well, I'm calling Cyrus over to, to see this, because magic man, inspect magic thing, please. Your funny yeah, words make me laugh, magic man. Re reluctantly leave where I am, kind of eyeing the dragon and go see what's up. As you walk over... You see this crystal ball, the small crystal ball of almost a purple-like material start to kind of flush, and then you immediately see, you recognize Silver Thread standing in front of poor Malthor, who is roped up, and what you realize almost immediately with your passive perception is arcane chains and rope. And this is what well, I'm looking through a marker. I missed it. Looking through a portal or a crystal through... ball that you realize okay. has scrying permanently casted on on it. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll just share that with the rest of the group. Uh, Silver Thread seems to have Malthor. Um. Malthor Mal seems fist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Malthor seems fist. Um, I will, I will mm -hmm. attempt, because knowing that it's probably uh, some sort of a scrying or because he would be somewhat familiar with magics like that, um, he will grab it, mm -hmm. or like, you know, kind of just touch it where it's hovering, whatever, and see if he can see any more than just the looking at the orb, like, see if he it's can It's in actually... Fenrir's hands. Like okay. he's just holding it. Yeah, then I'll, like, try to grab it from Fenrir and, and attempt to actually be looking through it like a scry would work. Okay. Fenrir seems slightly annoyed, but it doesn't stop you. CR is gonna be like, where the heck am I piloting to at this point? You're Does just, anybody know? Yeah, you're just going in a straight line right now, so... <laughs> Keeping it at a fast enough pace, mm -hmm. I still Maybe, don't know why we know, were going so fast. He was nicer um, about, you know, taking control. Pardon me, but he was yeah. As, as grabbing it, as was grabbing it, I, I will just yell back to whatever CR this one is. Um, you can go a slightly slower pace. You don't have to go full speed. Slows the ship and then down. Grab the thing and yeah, try to proceed through it. Okay, as you begin looking through it. You recognize the, the environment around it. This is the wizard tower that you trained at when you were in the capital. Those few times that your master went to the capital to work under the uh, king and support him in his magical endeavors, you would come along and this is where you would stay. Of course, in the, this room would be that you're seeing is his study from what you can tell with 
books, potions, brewed, different kinds of scrolls written about. It's a very messy room, but you recognize this as the room above your uh, above your quarters in this tower. You said in the capital. Tower yep. Tower in the this capital, would be right at there. the center right, uh, of the capital beside the castle, the main castle where the royal family stays. Okay. Um, I will kind of pull back out of the interacting with it. I'll hand it. I'll actually hand it back to Fenrir since he had it initially. Okay. And I'm probably standing right next to him. Mm -hmm. And just hang on to this for right now. Um, it may come in very handy soon. Uh, we need to find a spot where we can all rest up and I can figure out what's up with that as I point to the dragon that's following, mechanical dragon that's following. Yep. Basically, once you gave me back that crystal orb, Fenrir was going to find some spot to just fucking pass the hell out. <laughs> All right. As the so party... Yeah, probably... Huh? Go ahead. I was just going to um... say, I'll, I'll relay to, uh, again, whatever CR is flying this. CR 55, sir. Okay. Uh, he treats, he actually to... addresses Cyrus with a bit more respect, mm. recognizing immediately yeah, what it is. to... Whether it's staying in the air or are, are there mountains in this area? I don't remember. Uh, if you went heading, uh, giving CR fifty five the order to head towards mountains, he would know a place to go that was safe. Yep, built in yeah, cartography, then, mapping yep, system. I would do that because okay. I'm figuring mountains are going to be farther away from large population centers or larger population centers. Okay. That okay. Set, set yes, sir. Down and figure out this dragon. Okay. I head and towards rest. the nearest mountain that I know that has the that doesn't have any mountain towns around it or anything. CR fifty five, as you recall uh, from your programming, um, you continue um, heading east from where you are currently, and you head into what you remember as primitive territory of a dog like race that would for the most part, were considered harmless, so long as you didn't interfere in their hunting grounds. And you recall a giant mountain at the center that was completely uninhabitable uh, from any of the, the dog races, because none of them could climb this high and breathe. Uh, while any other species seemed fine, you recall that this area was off-limits to them, and they treated it as a shrine. Heading that way, you notice that most of the towns and such that you recall from your uh, when you were first activated seem to have been abandoned as you look over the edge. But after about an hour, or about another two hours of travel, you finally arrive, and the clouds have kind of started to lighten. You can tell it's getting late into the evening, and as you sit down on a portion of the mountain that is somewhat plateaued, it is completely quiet minus the cold wind that hits you guys on occasion. Before I let anybody get off, I'm going to peer out over the edge with a hand axe ready to chuck at something and make sure that there yep. are nothing in you the see area. No, that there is nothing. Your sensors do not sense any life form other than those on the ship within about a 30 mile radius. I will then go radius. inform Cyrus. I will first walk up to him and be like, okay, so you're Cyrus. Yes. I have mild updates from what CR-54 saw and learned. Nothing too important, just of who he met. He didn't get anybody else's names. You're Cyrus, you're part ASMR, part something else. Nord and ASMR. So, conflicting yeah, he, with programming, which yeah, has broken he, me slightly. Ignoring he that and moving a on. Second and, and acknowledges that, because he hasn't necessarily let the rest of the group know fully that. Yeah, yeah. Where's Tickma in relation when this is just being spewed out loud? <laughs> uh, with Fenrir. Oh, that's what I think. I'm the CR. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> <laughs> CR, this CR has no manners. Nice. <laughs> no. Okay, I can pilot for you and help you out. We're in a place that has no life at all and no undeath either. Just because you all seem to be talking about that quite a bit. 
And as the, um, you guys do this, the DM takes a moment to start a laundry load because he just realized he forgot to and has to take care of something real quick. <laughs> so the party gets a chance to do a long rest and contemplate their next move nice. while talking so, to each other and role-playing because the DM will be back. Nice. Quick, okay, guys, get our fill in. I can yeah. inform you of my primary functions when you need me to as well as any history that I know of right offhand. I have been non-active for... What year is it now? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to guess know since character. the last time that I'm going to guess a good couple hundred or thousand years, given that it doesn't seem like the Nords and the people that created me, the ASMR, the Helio, or as I call them, the asses, I'm a, we're at war, and that big dragon, I point to it was something that CR-54 was set to find. I do not know how I ended up on your ship. Do not ask me. But if you need anything, I will be around. I am proficient with tinkering. Unfortunately destroyed. This will not ruin the investigation. <laughs> I haven't watched that or played that yet. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, I've watched it, but I have the game. I, I need to play it. Oh. Number, number anyways, five is alive. Anyways, should yeah, you need Cyrus. me, I am proficient with tinkering and other things to keep myself going without the assistance of a mechanic. Yeah, Cyrus will initiate um, introductions. You already know my name, it seems, Cyrus. Point to Tikva, this is Tikva. Point to the others, uh, give their names. Just Tikva. Not like she's looks a queen. C with a family looks name. At, looks at Tikva well, and goes, the civilian that can't pilot an airship. Well, I, oh, yeah, it, I kept, it isn't I, the I robot that was ben misprogrammed. Ben Hello. Um, and Hello. then Cyrus gets off the ship and walks over to the dragon like he's got things on his mind. You, CR55, what features do you have built into you? I have a cartography map system that is. Slightly out of date, it appears, but it'll update it as I go. I also have tinkering tools built right in for me to repair myself and make small machinations if I need to. Um, right. What good are you my, with magic? I, given what I was programmed it with, I can use a beast to senses for a short while, along with... Only one other thing magical that I can do. Are you good at detecting or speaking sensing to magic? I can speak with animals and use beast senses. Right. That is about it. You guys would also see on CR built right just below the ne where the neck is. An amulet of health built right in. Hmm. Nice. No, no. CR55, what do you know of the Heli and the Nords and back when you were conscious and alive of what was going on here? I know that they were at war a lot, which is why we the CR series was created. That is about all I can share with a civilian. I'm not a civilian, actually. You might want to update your files. Uh, queen Tikva Silversong here. I have never seen a queen of your species. Good. As a matter this will be a learning I've never experience. Even seen of your species. And I imagine she was sitting down resting, and she stands up and sort of walks over, like does mm -hmm. a loop around him, like looking him over, tail swaying, and then like looks at him and is like, "What do you know of the Heli's weaknesses and strengths when it comes to warfare?" Immediately upon hearing this CR-55, you everything blanks as far as the heli. Nothing to share. His eyes right. would go a dull gray light suddenly, as though there's something interrupting thought processing. Memory blocker. Smart, smart. Then I guess I have no real use of you. Go back to whatever it is you need to do. And she's going to make her way to Cyrus. Um, he would go on to introduce himself to Fenrir and Kips, sharing the same information, including the fact he can tinker with stuff. Okay. So, we'll come back to the you guys in a moment. 
Cyrus, we're going to start with you. Actually, Kips, we're going to start with you. <laughs> Kips says, you're looking over your rats after having messed, after injecting them with a mix of both vampiric blood from the hand, as well as uh, mixing in a bit of holy water to test out and other different types of drugs. You find that one of the ones with the le that you injected with the smallest amount and a mixture combo that favored more of an antidote that you had been customizing, which, forgive me, I forget the name we used for it, um, you managed to not only take away its vampirism, but it also changed back. And when you tried to test out how well it did, poking it and stabbing at it just to see how well it reacted, it seemed to almost die and come back almost immediately without any hunger or thirst or interest in blood. And that's... Yes, I'm waiting. It turned a va to a vampire back to normal rat, and now it won't die. Correct. It seems to have gained a form of immortality. It is one of 12 subjects to survive. What would you like to do with it? I want to produce more of these rats. Okay. As you begin taking, uh, looking through your notes and finding the concoction of a 10% vampiric uh, injection with a 90% in, uh, cure, in quotes, uh, add-on, you begin working. All right. <laughs> Are you playing rats? <laughs> yes. Cyrus. Careful, they're all going to be runners. I'm going to call Fenrir also. <laughs> Oh, God. What? Okay. Not the queen, but Fenrir. Okay. I'm going to be on a finish. All right. Fenrir well, does mean... not hear anything as he is not uh, in your lab and is currently standing with the rest of the group. So we will come back to you in a minute, Kips, while you begin working on your rats. You pull out about 12 rats, the last of the collection currently, while the cloning vat is beginning to produce more. Um, they can speak. And begin work on it. You do still see on occasion the rat with the ear growing on its back, still running around, but every time you manage to locate him, it seems he seems to scamper away and hide again. You're like, don't touch me, bitch! Um, Cyrus, we're gonna come to you now. As you get off the ship while uh, Kips is working on his uh, rat formula, um, you start begin to inspect this dragon. And under, as you get a closer look, one of the things you get with your passive perception before I have you roll, is you notice on its collar the term CR number, or pound sign, 0, 2. I assume you're trying, what, what else are you trying to gather from this creature? Um, I guess. So I'll walk up to it. Mm -hmm. Um, because I assume it can understand me in common, but I'll mm -hmm. see. Um, I'll just ask it first, do you understand me? Because I already said the words in common, so. <laughs> its blue eyes seem to turn towards you very slowly, and it seems to just stare at you. What languages do you understand? It doesn't seem to speak back to you at this point. It just stares at you. Okay. Against Cyrus's want, he's going to use the mental link mm -hmm. um, to try to link with the dragon. Okay. Cyrus, as you do this, roll me a wisdom saving throw. Oh no. You're about to get a Who lot of information. 
Yeah, uh, again, uh, advantage on this. Jesus Christ. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, note to, to, for advice, don't throw a wisdom-based monster at Cyrus. Um, okay, Please Cyrus, as soon as you begin the mental link, it almost as if you are downloading a long list of, inf of documents, you begin getting flashes at a rapid rate that almost cause you to go unconscious as your brain feels like it's beginning to overload from ev all the memories, almost as if you've lived a thousand lifetimes. You right. see dragons, no like true ancient dragons of c gigantic size. You see the heli themselves. You see other races that you've never even met before. From Rock, the only ones you recognize at this point are the Rakshasa, the Nords, and the Heli. You see different races continuing to almost act as if enslaved to these dragons, which, from what you recall of your history, the dragons were defeated soundly by the Heli. And then you see humanoids, very similar to what the Heli look like today, working on these creatures, these robots of sorts these warforged and each one seems to have the imprinted label on it cr and that's when you realize what the cr stands for the c as you read as the first one has reads cyrus the r though you don't know the word as you don't recognize the language the numbers seems to show that this is the second one, and it seems to be staring at another sitting in what looks to be an iron chair with strange, f almost uh, fleshy-like cables of sorts, and ropes sticking out of these this creature, as it seems to act as if almost it's giving orders to, as you look around, a larger and larger number of these warforged that look almost identical to CR-54 and 55. Some have even, from what you can tell, are only come in three different models. And when you realize that each w or the three models are professionals who work as tradesmen, you see warriors who are designed for battle, and you see support roles. And you see that this dragon was built not like the others, that it's metal... And as you gain its memories, it, you feel this great pain start to almost implode inside your body as it feels like metal is being smashed and melded onto you, being hammered, burned, and as your body feels like it's erupting. And almost as if as the memory begins to fade, you see this dragon-like creature. It feels like it goes empty after a while. And then as it... As its whole lifespan continues in front of you, it goes so fast that you can't catch most of it. You begin to realize that this in time you will decipher. Which is the DM's way of simply saying, we're not going to spend an hour of me explaining its entire yeah. life story. <laughs> yep. So yeah, from, from what I got out of that, it seemed like I the early memories were not a mechanical being and it became a mechanical being basically to sum it up yeah. mm -hmm. yep and that and there, there are a I lot saw, more yeah and then saw what looks like some sort of a, a control hub plus the other versions mm -hmm. of these crs yep okay um right after that um Oh, it's and your so trident isn't going. You're going to get a long rest. Okay. <laughs> so, um, no warning signs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right after that blood, he you know, probably still kind of collapses partially mm -hmm. from just the intense stream of it. Um, mm -hmm. Takes a second, casts uh, the wrist pocket dimension so I can pop out my own journal. Mm -hmm. Not the other one. Mm -hmm. um, immediately attempts to, because you said the R of it was in a language that I didn't know. Correct. Um, I will uh, immediately try to write down what I remember of the letters of that word. Okay. To try to, you know, 
kind of dream journal that type thing so i can mm. try to go back to it okay um taking a little bit to once i do that pop the wrist pocket or mm -hmm. pop the journal back into the wrist pocket and that i do have up potentially for an hour but i probably won't need it okay so what's worth fenrir knows five <laughs> you could ask him to see if he knows oh yeah he's gonna probably check with the rest of the group oh uh, yeah you should um, probably inform the rest of the group about this yeah yeah um <laughs> he will then see probably left the link up um mentally will try to communicate with the dragon um first in common okay um asking it to asking it to state its current uh list of commands uh or available commands i should say it looks at you for a moment and goes and you hear the mental link i'm sentient enough to understand any command uh thank you i wasn't sure but assumed so from the flash i got from you it nods as you're doing this cyrus Fenrir, you realized after a while during the ship ride that the DM is about to sneeze. Oh no. Okay, we're good. Um, you realized that Tikva had taken in up, you know, you'd seen her skin the dragons and get the fleshy bits off, but as she was walking around, you did notice something that caught your eye. A bit of Something that looks kind of clumpy and round that she seems to be carrying on her person. Am I able to discern what it is? Uh, give me a perception check. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. I have a bomb on me. Mmm, <laughs> wonderful. I cannot wait for the day I can stop using my phone. <laughs> Uh, how's a 23 sound? Okay, uh, I'm gonna message you something. Mm. Great. And Dion, before Cyrus heads back to the ship, he mm -hmm. will, through the link, uh, okay. ask the dragon's name if it has one. It just goes, it just tells you hope. Okay, thank you, hope. Then he'll get back on the ship. Okay. Uh, Tikva was heading towards. Him, I, so I, I know. know he'd meet I'm her taking care of this. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm paying attention. I was just telling Cyrus because I didn't know if he caught it. All right. Kips is planning something in the background. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> Fenrir, that's what catches your eye. Mm -hmm. And he has muted himself for the time being. There we go. He's screaming in fear. <laughs> <laughs> Great! Oh god! Thought it was in the bag of holding, but all right. Um. How both bad? Of the uh, silver dragons are dead. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. In fact, yeah. Uh, Tikva has the the heart and has did skin it. So, mm -hmm. all right, and you guys skinned it. So, yep. there's about thirty in pounds of scales and two dr say, uh, silver eyes. Um, and a heart. Fenrir is going to, at a quickened pace, walk over to, uh, Tikva, and mm -hmm. Tikva, you notice that Cyrus. there, well, you notice that there's some urgency <laughs> in Fenrir's eyes. If she sees that, she'll pause and, like, let him approach, because if it's an emergency, she needs it addressed. Fenrir, what is up? Yes, and she like she looks very tired. I would recommend that I hold on to that for the time being. Hold on to what? I point at it. 
I look down. What is it? A fleshy clump that you took from the dragon that was looked interesting to you. What is it, Fenrir? She looks him in the eyes. Um. Uh. Well, I don't want to alarm you. Go ahead. I don't have time for hesitation, Fenrir. That's a dragon egg. Tikva looks down, curiously. Damn, mm -hmm. in her research... She has no idea like what a dragon's egg looked like. No, but would she have heard of people hatching and incubating dragon eggs nope. for use? Nope. Nope, historically, anybody who's ever got a dragon's egg usually just sold it. There's not much information right. on it. Fenrir, what can a dragon eggs be used for? And she's eyeing it, eyeing it like considerably, like kind of scientifically. Well, there's plenty of speculation, cures and whatnot that with the parts, but what I've always been fascinated with is the idea of having a familiar. Oh, I'm glad we are on the same thought. And she gives sort of a grin, I'm sure sharp tiefling teeth. Has anyone successfully incubated or trained a dragon? I think I've heard of one of the older members of my clan. I had one a while ago. This would have been a few centuries back at this point, but there wasn't a whole lot of writing on it. Do you know the hatching requirements for specifically a silver dragon? I assume something cold. <laughs> well, I don't know too much about the specifics of eggs, though I've heard most of the time they actually require quite a bit of heat. I could provide heat or cold. Is Kips I'll do a busy? I'm digging around in my bestiary. Please do, and. Uh, if Kips is not busy, send him my way. He he might know something about this. If not, I, I need to go ask Cyrus a few things. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know, Fenrir. Understandable. Please be careful with it. I think between you, me, Cyrus, and Kips, I'm the most careful one here. And she says that with a bit of a tone to her voice that gives you flashbacks to the silver dragon fight that happened just a few hours ago. And... <laughs> okay. As you head <laughs> over there, Tikva, you see Cyrus coming back, but we will come back to you in a moment, Tikva. All right. CR 55. Yep. So not only are you hearing uh, the orders from the CR's number two, who has now given you the order to serve this lot... You Which also, I will agree with. You also hear it give you the mission to activate the other CRs for the Great War is coming. The CRs that, you know, are all linked to the one big one that <laughs> uh -huh. is in the middle of all the Helio who abandoned us? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That moment you realize CR you have 50... a choice between saving, going against a demonic paladin or going against, well, demonic paladins. <laughs> I'm going to inform Cyrus of this as soon as I can, but I will stay on the ship. Okay. Staying and on the ship. Make sure checking out, checking over my body, making sure it's in good repair after who knows how long, because I still have no idea how long I've been shut down for. You're correct. And as you look about, you've See, nothing, no injuries to your body. You remember how well built you were. The runes are a little rustic, but that's about it. I'll start cleaning off rust, any rust I find gently with my tinkerer's tools, making sure not to damage myself. Okay. All right. Doing my central maintenance protocol. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now, we will take a moment while Cyrus refills the dew. And the DM enjoys his whiskey coffee. <laughs> Dragon egg. What? I recall... Huh? 
I said Fenrir is definitely interested on winning this. <laughs> Listen, if we can get a dragon to help us fight, like, Tikva will take it. Like, for the army, for the upcoming war, Tikva, yes, please. As you yes. meet with Fenrir, who stops you halfway, you finally see that Cyrus is coming back towards your direction. He seems a little bit distracted, but otherwise uh, seems to be heading back towards the ship. Did he ever take a long rest? Like, does he look healthier? Or None of you have gotten a long rest as of yet. Uh, yeah, I assume this is all, like, as the of same, now. Yep, yep about, within a, okay. uh, about, uh, you guys at this point have only been landed for about roughly an hour through all this. Got it. Uh, yeah, if he approaches, she'll just wait there, so, mm -hmm. like, he can walk up to her. Like, I assume there's, like, a landing dock, drawbridge, whatever, she's just, like, casually standing there. Arms crossed, like, waiting for him expectantly. Uh, as Cyrus walks up, um, after the, kind of the final things he talked to the dragon on, mm -hmm. uh, he did let the dragon know, you should be able to cancel this link at any time, I will leave it up for a full hour and will sparingly use it, if that is fine with you. It just, it doesn't seem to give you an answer. Yeah, that's fine, but I figured I'd let it know. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, yeah, I'll walk up to Tikva. Hello, Cyrus. I'm here, I guess, to ask the whole dragon thing, although I have updated great news, as Fenrir has informed me, and I think she'll not pull it out, but she'll, like, open her bag to show him. Apparently, in my haphazard harvesting, we picked up a uh, dragon egg. Do you know anything about incubating these? Or anyone taming the dragon for use? I guess I don't know if Cyrus knows anything, so mm -mm. what would you like me to roll? Uh, go ahead and roll a history check. <laughs> Fucking oh Jesus, man. Natural 20! Calm Christ. down Cyrus. with your rolls. Kind of You're on steroids. <laughs> Well, now I didn't have an answer. Now I have to come up with one. Um, <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> you recall that at one time, dragons used to be a common animal for to be raised by the slaves uh, under when the dragons ran in Crimea, your the home uh, the planet's name before it became one with the Silencia. Um. You don't recall anybody ever managing to tame and ride a dragon or own a dragon, as the creatures were considered too intelligent. Um, but some have been, or some did manage to bond enough to form a strong friendship with uh, the, with dragons. And in some rare cases, there have been dragons that have allied with mortals. So I will summarize what I remember mm -hmm. um basically saying uh don't think of them as uh a dog or animal to make as a pet they're intelligent enough to be equals in intelligence and and intellect um of course you you, you might be able to uh hatch it and or whoever would hatch it bond with it and become I suppose friends and allies with it as As long it as grows. we can avoid a dragon trying to kill us but I figure it's better than just what, cooking it up? Making an omelet? Whatever people do with these eggs, I suppose. Yeah, probably a better idea than a large omelet. Now, um, I believe you said you had an explanation <laughs> for me about this, uh, she looks towards the mech dragon. Dragon incident, you seem well informed, Cyrus, and I'm afraid I'm very uninformed, and I'd like to become informed. Uh, how close are we to the ship when we met up? Oh, uh, you're uh, I was on, like, yeah. You're about, uh, you guys met about halfway, so you're about 20 feet away from the ship. Okay, Cyrus will 
Because I assume it's a little bit of a plateau here. We've got some space to work with, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. There's um, a lot of space here. Cyrus will just say, walk with me for a second, Tikva. And he'll go kind of away from the ship and away from the dragon. Okay. Tikva will do um, so. He'll get out, uh, like, 80-ish feet from the ship. Okay. Um, somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. And he will t take the trident off of his back and present it to Tikva, not as handing it, just as showing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This weapon is right now there's more to it, but I only just know you. I will give you as much as I feel safe. Of course. Doing for now. This is a ancestral weapon. It comes with sometimes the ability to see memories of its creator. I see. So it's an impressive weapon then. Uh, DM, side note, I'm assuming Tikva would not have heard of the tabaxi uh, giving this over to the no. party. Nope. Of course. I was just verifying that, yeah. So, its creator knew something of this dragon, I'm assuming? It seems to be the case, yes. Very um, well. It knew that its name sort of is hope. Um, I attempted to use use that to say quell the dragon. Uh, it seems to now be aligned with us. That is um, good. How sentient is it? Is it like CR55? Or is it smart enough to think on its own? Uh, it does seem to have a fair amount of sentience. It All right. can Could understand. be good or bad. Seems to be able to understand common without issue. It seems to be looking towards me as... I don't want to say master, but as a right. person so to you... guide, guide its actions. You did use the command word, I would assume so. Uh, which that makes Cyrus think. Um, would the link still be up? It has an hour to the dragon. I think DM's turning. Sorry. Down. What? Uh, yeah, would the link still be up to the dragon? Yep. Or is the link still up to the dragon? Yep. The. Wait, what the hell? There we go. Yes. Okay. Sorry. My um, mic disconnected. Yeah, so as, uh, yeah, so as uh, he's kind of telling Dick for that, he thinks about him being the only one kind of to help guide the dragon. Mm hmm And he will... Tikva would see him pause for a second, mm -hmm. almost like thinking, and he will say to the dragon, um... If it pleases you, uh, please allow the rest of my party to also give guidance on the things for you to do. Uh, we want to treat you as an equal. It seems to ignore you overall. I'm, I'm assuming he won't respond, but... That is correct. He does not respond. Okay. And not... Thinking about it, Cyrus will say, after kind of now contradicting himself, um, I have asked the dragon to... Oh, Tikva might have missed some. I cut out, yeah, I missed anything after you asking the dragon for permission. Yeah, so the dragon didn't respond, which is yeah. fine, but then kind of contradicting himself, because he's got a lot of things on his mind, he says, I have asked the dragon to look to the rest of you as equals to myself and to it. 
All right. This is good news. Tikva is just going to sort of take like a casual look around, sort of just assessing the distance from the ship, from the dragon. And then she looks at Cyrus, very stoically, very calm with his silver eyes. Cyrus, you are more powerful than I thought you originally were. That is good. Good for us, for our cause. You're very smart, too. Smarter than I, I know this. I assume you have a plan. I, I assume you know what you're doing. The problem is, Cyrus, is I don't. I'd like to remind you, I'm here to help you with your cause in avenging my cousin, Saya. You have information. I know she trusted you the most. If I am not updated on what seems important, I am weakened. I have laid legs cut out from under me, and I am afraid I can't be on your level to help you. I don't need you to tell me everything. You are free to your secrecy, your mystery, but if you die, and that information dies with you, know that our cause is hindered. Not just me, not just Zaya, the whole group. If there is something of key importance, dragon or otherwise, I would like to know. But as it is, of course, and she like makes a hand gesture, your choice, I'm not sure, Commander, I'm suppose your queen, not that the paperwork's probably finalized, but it doesn't very seem like I am. I just ask if you have questions, if you have information, I'd be updated. That's all. I I will. Um I'm still I have some some of this information I have recently learned is, I'll just say, a bit shocking to myself. Um, not necessarily in a bad way, just in uh, finding it out. Um, right. I'm still sifting through everything I've learned. Of course, take your time. As much time as we can give you, after all, this place is dangerous. After we are done resting, we'll need to go rescue Malthor. If you have anything you'd like to say, I recommend you say so beforehand. In the midst of combat, there's no time for chit-chat. Yeah, along those lines, I recognized where he was being held. Um, really? It is in the main mage tower of the capital. Um, silver, silver thread, right? Was the yeah, name? silver thread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, silver does song Tickva and silver recognize... thread. I got confused. Yeah, recognize that name. I assume. Nope, she does not. Nope. Yeah. Okay. S silver thread, which um, seems actually to be yes, because Malthor did bring it up to her. He, she yeah. just didn't, wouldn't know the significance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So. Silver Thread seems to be a quarry that Malthor has been going after and seems to be somehow tied into uh, Malthor's god um, mm -hmm. and possibly his god's god. waning power. I um, assume he. But that is the extent trouble. of what I know. I, I would assume so if he's seem to be as you know you probably saw too through just looking Cyrus. at it from the outside you managed to get us here i'm not sure how with your magic which is of course more powerful than i realized do you think this silver thread if he got here and he was in our world which malthor made it seem like he was how do you think he would have gotten here as well the same method you use Actually. Um, yeah, either teleportation circle or there is a higher, you know, more powerful version of it that doesn't require the circle that uh, can can actually teleport to uh, any location. It's easier to do that if you're familiar with a location. I uh, fortunately, I do not have that ability as of yet. <laughs> yet, right. Give me your honest opinion. Do you think we stand a chance against the Silver Thread? I would love to rescue Malthor. Of course I do. I do not want to leave him alone. 
But if it's all of us dying versus one of us dying, I think you know the answer I'd choose. Yes. Um, well, we seem to have a new ally as he glances towards the dragon that's off, off a ways. Right. And we have this new... What did he say? CR 55? 55, yes. More sass and attitude than the last one. And she, like, <laughs> huffs. So, I mean, we seem to be powered up a little bit. I don't have the ability today, but after uh, rest, I may be able to add to our numbers. But, That'd be yeah. good. The only other thing is, is we would be going into the capital, which seems to be Vampire Central. Right. I was going to talk to Kips about that in Fenrir. They seem most educated on vampires. In fact, I'm going to ask Kips about this dragon egg. Uh, would I suppose that's all the questions I had for you. You need to go back to whatever business. You seem the only one able to communicate with the dragon at least enough that it will listen to what you have to say um i suppose just make sure you take some time to rest we all need time to rest we've died how many times in the last two three days more than five i'd assume yeah as I assume, so Fenrir, quick, uh, I assume at this point you would begin getting a fire, getting a camp going, getting things set up as is tradition for your position and having grown up in the deep north and in the cold. Yep. Okay. So as uh, Tikva and Cyrus, you come back, you see Kips working away on a rat, poking it and squeezing it and pouring lemon mm -hmm. juice on it. Um, CR-55 is still standing at the helm, still going over charts, it looks like, as they seem to be completely uh, enamored in their own business. Fenrir has set up a nice fire, a little stone pit, a couple of, uh, setting up some of the minor camping gear that he found, um, in the lower decks. The tents have been set, all is quiet, the dragon comes over and just kind of sits blocking um, the camp, so that way it would be uh, unable to be seen for the most part from outside eyes. Good. And as you guys before sit we... down... Yes? I wanted to say, uh, before we started walking towards the ship, uh, Tikva would have wanted to uh, stop Cyrus for a moment. Okay. Half as you get about halfway there, you stop Cyrus for a moment. Cyrus, one last thing. Yes. She'd be proud of you. All right. And she keeps walking. Okay. He doesn't respond at all, but waits for a little bit and then continues. All right. As you lot continue heading towards camp, you see Fenrir has caught and gutted what looks to be a rabbit of sorts. Uh, you're not really sure how, as his whip is the only weapon you've seen him with. Fucking hand. wizardry, damn it. He ripped it off. <laughs> what was that, Fenrir? They've seen me with my short sword. Oh, that's okay. That's fair. Um, as there's a few okay, rabbits, with no real range weapon <laughs> in the st uh, with sticks going through it and cooking over the fire. You all sit down to relax, contemplating the last few days, all that's happened. Cyrus still tasting the the vile bile of a dragon's heart on his tongue. You lot begin to relax, and as you guys each drift off, one after another, taking your turn at watch, Fenrir, you begin to have a dream. You recall a city in the far, far north, and the long-forgotten wastes of the icy sh shell that is the far lands that you come from. You recall... A castle made of bones. And a joke amongst your clan about slaying the man who raised such a thing. 
you heard you remember them mentioning something about being one of the great one of the greatest deeds to accomplish something of that sort. But all who had gone had never returned. As this sort of dream continues on, you find yourself standing in front of it with a smile on your face and comrades by your side. And then you awaken as if the dream just floated away. As the party all awakens, minus CR55 who never sleeps, from yep. their sleep. Don't need sleep, just, just deactivated for a little while, standing at the helm. Yeah. Still mode. able to see and watch. <laughs> always, <laughs> always watching. The always entire party watching. gains a long rest. Nice. And as you lot to begin laying out plans for your next situation and where you want to go, the DM will call this session because he's half asleep. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this peaceful stream, and we will nice. catch you on the flip side. Nice.